I offer my humble pranam at the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba. I welcome to video lecture on microcontroller and embedded system laboratory. In this uh, session, I'm going to explain how to interface stepper motor with LPC2148 microcontroller, then how to rotate a motor in a clockwise as well as anti-clockwise direction. So if you go for that board, we can find this particular uh, part. Here, there'll be a driver circuit to control uh, stepper motor. Uh, now, this is the actual uh, circuit diagram. If you want to control a stepper motor, uh, so 5 volt, or 9 volt, or 3.3 volt is not sufficient. So, actually, this requires a plus 12 volt uh, supply. Therefore, here, this is your LPC2148 microcontroller. Okay. Uh, then there'll be a four windings to control each winding. We need separate uh, circuit driver circuit. Actually, in this case, we are using a transistor. We are using transistor as a switch. Actually, we know that we have two applications of transistor. We can able to use transistor as an amplifier or transistor as a switch. In this case, we are using uh, this transistor as a switch. Now here, this is your uh, collector. This is emitter. This is the base of the transistor. So this base is connected to a uh, port. Here in this case, we are going to use uh, port one, P1. Actually, it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. So therefore, you have to get the uh, specification of that particular uh, vendors accordingly, you have to write the program. Then in this case, in my example, uh, we are going to use P1.24 to control winding A, P1.25 to B, P1.26 to control winding C, and P1.27 to control winding D. Therefore, we have to send the data from LPC2148 microcontroller to activate, enable this winding. Therefore, we have to configure a P1.24 to P1.27 as output by using IO direction register. Uh, initially, first we have to make it low. So at the beginning, we have to make P1.24, 25, 26, 27 as low. Therefore, by default means we have to make all this transistor off. Okay, then assume, consider this transistor, it is off because uh, the base of the transistor is low. It is off means it's open circuit. Then under open circuit, what is the current flowing through this winding A? So there's no current under open circuit, the current is zero. Therefore, if we want to enable the winding, first we have to make it a base of this transistor high. Therefore, we have to make P1.24 high and the rest of the things low. That's with the help of IO set register, we can able to make it high. Okay, once if it is high, therefore this transistor is on. Okay, it behaves like a switch, the switch is closed. Therefore, then by the time the current start flowing through like this. Okay, because of the current, what happened? There'll be a magnetic field, the magnetic flux uh, created around this coil because of the magnetic flux it is going to create a torque it is going to create a torque called twisting force there will be a twisting force around the coil therefore it is going to rotate a motor by 1.8 degree 1.8 degree then we know that it is a mechanical device See, actually we can say it is electromechanical device it is not pure electronics okay here there will be a device driver circuit that is a driver circuit it is electronic but if you go for a motor, inside the motor, we know that there'll be a starter, there'll be a rotor, a rotating part is called a rotor, therefore it's a mechanical parts, okay? Therefore, it, is, it won't follow the speed of computer because the, we know that computer operates in terms of nanosecond or microsecond. It's not possible to control in the same way. Therefore, after analyzing winding A, before analyzing winding B, we have to provide some delay in between. Okay, therefore, after this provide delay, then analyze winding B by making P1.25 I. Now, what happened? The, the transistor here, yeah, this transistor is off, this also off, this also off, only this transistor is on. Now, what happened? This is closed, then the current start flowing through this particular winding, therefore, it's going to create a magnetic flux around the coil. Therefore, it's created torque. It's nothing but a twisting force. Then it's going to rotate a motor by 1.8 degree. 1.8 degree. Then provide delay. 
then activate this warning. See, I'm going to make uh, the base of this transistor is high uh, using P1.26. Now this transistor is off, this also off, this also off, only this transistor is on. Now the current start flowing through this particular winding. Now say because of the current, it's going to create a magnetic flux around the coil. Now because of the flux, then it create a torque, twisting force. Okay, it's going to rotate a motor by 1.8 dB. Then provide delay, provide delay, then energize the last winding. Energize the last winding by making P1.27 high. Means once if we decide this transistor becomes closed, then there'll be a closed circuit. Because of this, that there'll be current flowing through this winding D. Okay, then it's going to create a magnetic flux around the coil. Therefore, it, it creates a torque. Twisting force is going to rotate a motor by 1.8 degree. Then if you analyze in this way, okay, as per my uh, example, okay, my circuit, okay, it's going to rotate a motor in anti-clockwise direction. Then I have to come back, I have to repeat same thing. Okay, so this is a bit pattern. This is the analyzing the sequence for anti-clockwise direction. Okay, if energy is one winding, it is going to rotate a motor by 1.8 degree. Therefore, if you want to rotate a motor by one complete revolution, what is one revolution? That is nothing but uh, 360 degree, 360 degree divided, divided by 1.8 degree, that gives 200 steps. Therefore, if you want to rotate motor one revolution therefore we have to do this how many times 200 200 times suppose if we uh, repeat this sequence for 100 times then it's going to rotate a motor by 180 degree therefore you can able to rotate 1.8 degree or it may be 45 degree or it may be 90 degree or it may be 360 degree or it may be one and a half revolution depending upon your requirement you can analyze actually this application if you go for a robotics Okay, printer, plotter, so many things uh, we can able to use stepper motor. Without stepper motor, it's not possible to design any robotics. Therefore, uh, that is very, very, uh, it has so many applications in robotics. Now, this is the way of energizing coil for anti clockwise direction. Now, if you want to rotate a motor in a clockwise direction, then first we have to enable, we have to activate winding D. That's why here high P1.27 is high. Then this is low, this is low. Now the circuit's closed. Uh, we're going to do same operations okay this is the current start flowing through this winding okay by the time it's going to create a torque then because of the torque it's going to rotate a motor by 1.8 degree then energize this means you have to provide delay after this now here the winding c is uh, energized uh, therefore it's going to rotate a motor by another 1.8 degree then another 1.8 degree then this is the way then repeat same thing uh, this is the sequence we have to energize the coil is in this uh, coil in this sequence for clockwise direction okay now i'm going to explain uh, the actual uh, program here this is the delay with the help of delay we can able to control the speed of the motor speed of the motor with the help of sequence in what way you're going to analyze the winding so that decides whether you have to rotate a motor in a clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction but if you go for a delay actually delay controls with the help of delay we can able to control the speed of a motor now here there'll be a value i put something uh, 40000 okay we can say it be it's called a count now speed is inversely proportional to this count if you increase the count the speed will be decreases if you decrease the count the speed will be increases okay you have to put some minimum appropriate value okay you are not supposed to put very low value Okay, therefore with the help of this value, we can able to control the speed of a stepper motor. We can able to count even one, two, three, okay, by changing this value. Therefore, here the speed, there'll be relation, speed is inversely proportional to this count. If you increase the count, the speed will be decreases. If you decrease the count, the speed will be increases. Then <clears throat> I'm going to use uh, uh, switch one and switch two uh, to control a motor in a clockwise direction <coughs> and anti-clockwise direction actually clk stands for clockwise one means i'm going to use switch one ac uh, means is for anti-clockwise two stand for i'm going to use uh, s2 switch two uh, therefore we know that uh, this switch one and switch two is connected at p1.16 and p1.17 okay we have to configure uh, these two pinas input because we are going to get the information from the switch 
okay now here that's why we have to make that particular bit high if you want to make p that uh, uh, s1 this p1.16 is high then we have to write this statement this indicates actually i'm going to use this as a masking data okay what's the meaning of this that is bit number 16 is one here bit number 17 is one i'm going to use uh, this data this two things as what like a masking data masking data okay now <coughs> this is our main program main program in i io direction one equal to this data what's the meaning of this because we know that if you go to your actual hardware uh, we are using p1.24 25 26 27 to control this winding therefore we have to configure this as output this as output that's why see here we have to make because we know that zero for input one for output therefore we have to write one into those bit position that is p1.27 bit number 27 28 29 is actually 24 25 26 27 we have to make this bit as high that's the meaning of f then once if you write this data into io direction one register okay it's going to configure 24 to 27 as output then initially i told you see we know that we there'll be chance of having some junk value here okay suppose if it is both are one one year or one 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 year so it's going to create some jerk in the motor it won't rotate motor properly in a smooth way that's why at the beginning we have to make it low we have to make everything low so that is the purpose of executing this particular statement therefore i o clear one i o clear one equal to this data okay wherever we have one that particular line becomes low uh, because we know that that is bit number 24 25 26 27 is high here therefore those line becomes low this is very very important step therefore first you have to configure these lines as output and we have to make it low then while one that is beginning of the file it's an infinite low okay now this gives the status of the switch i o pin one because we are using port one okay for, uh, port one that's where to go for i o pin one and this is like a masking data here this is for anti-clockwise that is actually we are going to use a switch one for anti-clockwise direction here the bit position that 17 is high 17 is i think about only one bit okay one bit okay now here bit uh, position 17 is i here actually it gives the status of switch two switch two assume the by default the switch is open okay the switch is open that uh, switch number two is open open means it is high okay it is high the what is the status of this this also high therefore here one here also one means open means one close means zero here one one into one this is a bitwise and operation and operator okay one into one here one here also one when both are one one into one one all things replaced by one means true say not true means what false means it won't enter into this particular block it won't execute this block then it comes to this then once again uh, this is for clockwise direction what is the states of this one here by default it is one because switch is open switch one we are using switch one now this also high then this also high this also high when both are high what happened that is whole thing is high because it's a bit by sand operation then high means true not true false once so you're going to it won't execute this block also then it is a it's a end of your uh, while loop it will go back okay once again to check the status of this then assume the switch 2 is pressed for anti clockwise direction once if you close the switch this is replaced with 0 so 0 and 1 whole thing is 0 therefore 0 means false so not false that becomes true then it's going to execute this block of code here uh, I'm writing this data into IO pin register. We are, we are using IO pin one because we know that we can able to use IO pin as read as well as write register. Here I'm reading the status of the switch, but here I'm getting, I'm sending that data. I'm writing the data, this bit pattern. If you write this data into IO pin one register, okay, now it's going to activate that winding P1.24, winding A. Winding A is activated, it's going to rotate a motor by 1.8 degree after executing this particular statement. Then the delay have to provide proper delay. Okay. Next, 
we have to enable the next immediate winding by writing this data i op in 1 equal to this data so this is hexadecimal number this is the binary equivalent of this okay now here p1.25 becomes i then it's going to analyze that winding then it's going to rotate a motor by another 1.8 degree like that here 4 then 8 then repeat same thing suppose if you execute this four uh, four instruction then it's going to rotate a motor by 7.2 degree 7.2 degree 1.8 into four times 7.2 degree into 50 that becomes 360 degree it's just here i've written a program to rotate a motor by one revolution after one revolution it will stop it stop then to check for the switch once again if you press uh, switch to it's going to rotate a motor for anti-clockwise direction then in the same way assume you are going to press switch one for a clockwise direction by the time this is low this is high low into high then low low means false not false true then it comes here okay i'm going to analyze in a reverse way in the previous case here one two four eight here eight four two one we have to analyze in a reverse way and one more thing we have to analyze only one winding at a time that's very important therefore if you write uh, this one uh, eight okay then it's going to analyze winding d then provide delay then it's going to uh, rotate a motor by one seven point two degree into 50 that becomes 360 degree after one revolution it comes out and it's keep on checking for the switch if you press s2 then anti-clockwise if you press s1 clockwise so this is the way okay so i think uh, understood uh, all these things okay this is for anti-clockwise this is for clockwise okay so if you want to vary the speed we can go for a delay uh, by changing by varying this count we can able to increase the speed and we can able to decrease the uh, speed therefore if you want to control the direction of a stepper motor we have to analyze the winding in a proper sequence so this is the sequence this is a sequence for anti-clockwise okay and this is a sequence for anti-clockwise as per my hardware uh, specification okay uh, therefore uh, go through the next video in the next video i'm going to give demo how it works okay thanks for watching and if you have any doubts you can write in a comment section thank you